Okay, so continuing. Heartbeat. This is I discovered via recommendations of I believe pixel art and kind of uh, modern RPGs. Uh, Chumbo, Chumbo Soft, maybe RPG Maker. So this seems to be a it's definitely super you know uh, eight, 16 bit RPG game. Uh, cute, cute uh, pixelish graphics. Kind of just pops up every once in a while. Of um, in my recommendations, so it's kind of there. It's not thingy. Um, note: If you're using Steam Enhanced, or uh, is there any deal as a waiting list? It confuses Heartbeat with the game called The Heartbeat. So it has never been very the sale if you're going to track sales for this uh, uh double check because it's um or monitor it physically yourself because it gets confused with the heartbeat you know okay forsaking castle it just recommended under 2d metroidvania pixel art type game that's about it um this is from a top 10 list Valakia, Valakia, Reign of Dracula. Okay, this is another recommendation of a. This is a top ten list. 2D Metroidvania. No, no, this is not Metroidvania. This is the. This is just uh, action game. Okay, maybe this was under a Barbarian recommendation. I believe this is. Yeah, this is under recommendation from I believe. Slain. Um, Hell, Hell Slain. Volgar the you no know, like Volgar the Barbarian in Slain Back from Hell. There we go. Slain Back from Hell. I believe it's from recommendations of those games. So this is just action barbarian platform arcade game. Just recommendation looks good. Ancestors. Um Humankind Odyssey. Okay, this is this is a, a weird game to describe. This is an open world adventure game sandbox survival thing but you're playing through all of humanity <clears throat> so basically it's like take minecraft remove the building and there you go uh, remove the mining and the blocks but you know just kind of have this you know you're in you're in the wilderness you got to survive oh yeah and it has okay never mind it does have skill trees so Different things. So basically, as you play as a troop of hominids, see, this is the thing, hominids, okay? Other human species that are now extinct. We're the only ones that exist. Not greater apes, hominids. Through the generations, and basically, as you have your little tribe unit, you survive. Um, so you, you know, um, I want to say it's almost a creature stage and spore, but actually fleshed out. So you're, you're the elf. Your troop of girl, your troop of the hominids. You can you can jump from hominid to hominid to control, and they follow you as the leader. So you have to gather food. You have to avoid predators. You have to survive. Get drinking water. Um, migrate if you're discovered. And as you progress, you unlock your skill tree, which is various um, various advancements of thinking for stuff. So basically, like you can use tour tools. They these are actual things. I know this game and I would love it because for college, for my science credit, I, the only ones available were, because I was trying to get honors, uh, for the honors courses were uh, the anthropology classes. So I took Anthro 1, which is basically a history of man, you know, uh, prehistoric man and hominids. Love the class. Took human diversity, which actually is um, all the various, why humans have 99.9 .9 shared genes, but we look so different. So it's like all the various genetic variations that actually prove evolution and all these adaptations um, and all these like weird diseases that exist in humanity. But that's because the people who don't have the disease have these huge benefits um, like sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis or another one like the petri uh, petrification disease where your bones turn to stone. Basically, like they did the gene sequencing, like if this was a random dice, like you just need these two genes to flip. So the probability of this flipping from like is like one in nearly like is one in two hundred thousand. 
and there's five people they have five fossils of people who have the disease like that is an impossibility that is that is like five people winning the lotto not like it's you know it's like it's an anomaly like there's something in this disease that of like turning your of your bones turn of like your entire body turning into bones that um that has a benefit to everybody else so basically yeah so you play as you know these various hominids and you develop them blah 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 so yeah i'm talking about anthro classes there you go all right dead eyeing definitive i don't know what this game is about i really don't it just i know that this is infamous for like the trailer of this game actually showing zero gameplay it just footage i've yet to sit down and watch like a 30 minutes let's play to get it but there's just something that i think maybe it's something maybe like let's for dead 2 but not shooter but actually like melee and a bit more adventure kind of story based i don't know it just strikes me i just it it's just my fancy you know and like i said i've just been too lazy to actually find out what this game is about <laughs> hunt down okay this is from a recommendations list top uh, top 10 or you know upcoming really good looking 2d pixel sh uh, running gun or hack and slash game so if you want contra metal slug ninja gaiden shinobi type game hunt now don't know anything about it <clears throat> oh good i'm streaming almost had a mild mild heart attack about it. tanglewood i believe this is through recommendations of like rpg classic maker type deal this is just homage 16-bit rpg action rpg oh mystery dungeon okay so this i did not know that so this is a uh, an actual rogue like game mystery dungeon rogue hangbon tome stone soup pokemon mystery dungeon chocobo mystery dungeon so yeah if you like that type of game yeah okay i did not know that maybe maybe i just had this as my first attempt to try those mystery dungeon games um again <clears throat> i played tome while it was still known, uh, the acronym was still known for uh, Tales of Middle Earth or Troubles of Middle Earth, but they had to change it because of the copyright of this state. Okay, Savior. This is from a top 10 Metroidvania list. Has very nice animation, swift, kind of. The art style is very unique. It seems to be very mobile. Um, yeah, but just on yeah nothing that really uh grips me just more like yeah keep it on mine time spinner i know this because this was at the time when it came out this was a, a note um this was before i believe bloodstained ritual of the night came out or whatever the whatever the the real castlevania is as like konami does not make castlevania castlevania is made by the actual guy who does castlevania iga he he's made two games i believe bloodstained there's there's one for the classic vania and one for the metroidvania this was before those were released so this is basically a metroidvania and it has the mechanic and gimmick of controlling time so you would so here's a, what seems to be a clock and gear so you basically reverse time to wind the clock gears to do stuff there is actually uh, so i guess it's almost like blinks so i believe i just had this as a recommendation more for my friend uh, there's another game that kind of has the time control mechanic for puzzles, and it's on my 3DS. Let's see, let's let's pop that up because if you if you like kind of a little, um, if you like Time Spader, and I'm guessing the puzzles in this game, you'd also like this other game or series of games, and it's on the 3DS E Shop. It is called Eternal Blade. Okay. I like the controls of Eternal Blade. It's kind of a. It reminds me of. Eternal Blade reminds me of. 
Odin Sphere and Muramasa. They say it's a Metroidvania game, but it's not a Metroidvania game. Those games are not Metroidvania because it has a big map. It's not huge exploration. It's just a, it's a 2D side scroller, but you know it has five floors instead of one or two. You know the overworld and the secret you know warp pipes. So this kind of has um, kind of Odin Sphere type of you know going place to place, figuring out. And has little puzzles of you winding back time and hitting gears and stuff, or and also using it in combat such as freezing the enemies or fast forward Prince of Persia style. So yeah, if you like that, okay, I turn away. So there's I'm shilling. Okay, Deep Rock Galactic. This is Left for Dead, Left for Dead 2, Vermintide. So basically you're four people, co-op online, shooting waves and waves of enemies, except it adds Minecraft. So I guess while you're trying to fend off goblins or whatever, guns, Left 4 Dead style, you're also trying to mine ore, or mine rocks, and explore the area. Or, okay, they have a tank or whatnot. Or not a tank, a, a steam shovel. Steam shovels. So not only are you surviving and killing things, you're also gathering the resources at the same time. And maybe you set up tools to extract the resources, but it seems lots of fun. It used to be on... Um, Early access. No longer early access. I've, used, I've still yet to beat Ver the DLC for Vermintide 1 once, let alone do Vermintide 2, which I have in Seasons. Oh, goodness. Forged Showdown. This was recommended on extra credits, games you may not have tried in 2006. <clears throat> so this is weird. Um, when they did it, they kind of explained that this is a really, really weird game to explain how it actually plays but when you actually play it it works so i want to say i have not played those games i want to say it's like xcom but or maybe steam but not as hell it's like you know, or like raving rabbits mario and raving rabbits xcom game so you have a character you position them give them more as they do their things but the thing is the gimmick or at least the new thing is they add cards to it so basically you can do these special actions or bonuses or buffs in your gameplay and so not only do you have to pick out the characters and heroes that you like for your team and composition, but you also the cards that would go well for them. And they say like, <clears throat> I believe, yeah, this was done by uh, Total Biscuit. When he still did, uh, when he was still with us. Well, and also extra cards. Oh, quite, 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 quite. And they all say basically is, um, you really need to do the tutorial, which is like 20 to 30 minutes in order to understand this game. So, yeah, it's on my, yeah, to, to look list. Okay. Okay, Metamorph, Creature Dungeons. This is action RPG, so this is Diablo, Torchlight, blah, blah, blah. Except the theme and the gimmick is that you are a mutant, and so different arm and body parts. As you gain your upgrades and weapons and perks, you will shift in your um, image and visage and different arms and whatnot. I like that mechanic. I like Evo. I like Amazing Iron. I like Critters. It's been an early access since release. It's been super cheap. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. And I also have like three other action RPGs, Diablos, to play once, let it go, let it, yet again, to play with different characters. Okay, Moe Chronicles. This seems to be recommended as JRPG, modern style. It has possibly fan service. I believe it's just through recommendation. <clears throat> oh wait, it's a, it's a Mons game, so we have monsters. Uh, so it's Pokemon, Shimagami Tensei, except they're Moe girls. I don't do it for the fan service, I'm just doing it for the the different Mons. I don't know if I like Mons games. I've yet to play Pokemon twice, but yeah, Mons game, Moe Chronicle. <clears throat> Waifu Pokemon. Okay. Greek Memories of Azure. I believe this is a recommendation of good 2D action game. Looks has a really good looking art style. Reminds me of Hollow Knight. I believe this is just you know very atmospheric action action game. Yeah, from a top ten list. Yep. Dark Side Detective. This is a point and click adventure. I only have it because it was recommended via This Is Like Twin Peaks. That's about it. So I don't know which other games are like 
Twin Peaks. Oh, wait. Deadly Premonition? Isn't that right, Zach? The very, the very Mimi game. So I believe I learned about this through that game. Like, this is, you know, Twin Peaks and it's humorous and although I'm not an action adventure game type of guy, it's just on my to do, you know, kind of enjoy. Also, apparently it's more up my alley in that it's not um, horribly, the puzzles aren't horribly um, difficult to understand. Dusk. I know this from Paskey, who is the speedrunner for arcade games on Twitch. He does, uh, he runs the 1cc marathon, which is the Twitch marathon streams for arcade games. And so this is basically Doom. It's pew pew fast shooter, but made two years ago. Set in the thing. Um, not so much. I don't know if I would like it, because I don't know if I like Doom. I'm more inclined to try this. So this is basically Doom, but been made last two years ago and different a different theme hunt showdown this i saw on upper echelons seems very interesting this seems to be this caught my attention in that it's more of a this reminded me of vermintide so although it seems to be survival uh, first person survival zombie game a la maybe oh, I'm probably gonna name something that has absolutely nothing to do the one that everybody wants to play but hates it dusk rust it's like it's not battle royale but anyways so yeah you get dropped in you're surviving you're crafting it just really caught my attention it's a newish game so I don't know if I would do it or if my machine can run it historical load zero no it's a defect. So yeah, hunt showdown. Oh, I think also yeah from the description there's bounty hunting. So there is PvP, but if you actually kill people, you are noticed. You're kind of um Dark Souls uh indicted blacklisted. So if you actually kill the people who's doing the killings, you can advance. Or at least get rewards or whatnot. So yeah, hunt showdown. Giga Buster. This is I believe just recommended Plat, uh, 2D platformer shooter game they just recommended on on uh, Switch or Nintendo I believe so yeah Steam libraries bloated Switch Nintendo's more curated for like quality games so, yeah Wizard of Legacy this is a apparently you know very polished roguelike game where you're a wizard and shooty so basically it's like Magicka I like that I like I don't know the magic theme I just enjoy better than Gods even though whatever Recommended, don't, I haven't gotten it yet because I've yet to beat basic roguelites such as Nuclear Throne or I've yet to even play, you know, uh, Enter the Gungeon and it's probably no wonder that not only do are roguelites hard but apparently I have the super duper hard roguelites or, you know, the bullet hells and screen shake stuff. And I've yet to determine, like I said, oh, I think it's with Nuclear Throne because I believe there's one point like I can get through the first first world okay second world trips me up third world i've yet to understand but the point is like there was just something like i just got to the third world and i just got the right combination of guns that i just blazed all the way to the final boss like no trouble whatsoever my heart was racing so it's more of like do i have the capacity to know what's meta as opposed to survive or is that kind of the games that i just i've yet to just get the broken combo and finish it okay kamiko i believe a recommendation of uh pixel pixel games oh wait this looks like Faerun. so this i think maybe it it's via east this is an east like game but it doesn't stink or highlight if everybody knows the meme that highlight you know I think this is a highlight game. I think I learned this through Faerun. Faerun is a very good game if you like East or you want highlight that doesn't suck. Faerun. So yeah, this is basic. Yeah, this is basically a highlight, except it doesn't suck. You just you walk into the enemies to kill. You grind for your level and explore, and you kind of go through the whole map, gather the items, and do it. Very short, sweet, loved it. 
best two bucks I spent. Beat it in, in two days. Excellent. Loved it. East, but good. Not East, but good. East is good. I mean, highlight, but good. Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat, what's there not to love? Fighter game. I just haven't played fighter since, oh, what was the last fighter I played in the, the last time I played fighters, I was in college, still, still exploring MAME, and so I believe I was doing Vampire 3, Darkstalkers, Vampire Saviors. But the last one in the actual arcades, I don't remember. I think Primal Rage was new. Yeah, Primal Rage was new, I think. Or no, that was at Disney, so that was an old old game. Anyways. Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. This is Earthbound. So it plays like Dragon Quest, looks like Earthbound. Kind of kooky, but this is adult. This literally is kind of like Anodyne, where this is a psychological thing. You are literally in this... You're in Jimmy's mind. brain. You're basically in Magic Camp the whole time, except you're an adult. So you are in Jimmy's mind. All the enemies and characters are representations of people and psychological strengths and weaknesses. It has adult themes such as stress, death, work, adulthood, and whatnot. And you can change the different monsters in order for different things such as you can turn to monsters in order to like, you turn to a slime to squeeze through a pipe, you turn to a flower to talk to the flowers. So yeah, very, very, um, very adult, you know. Here's, um, a boss. It's a very creepy looking spider going to. So yeah, Earthbound. Saw this on a friend. Uh, Perp. Perpetual MM. On Twitch. Interesting. Didn't grow up with Earthbound. Like it. Wouldn't play Earthbound again. I would try to introduce it to everybody as I can. Like, play through it once. Use a guide. It needs it. Just But that that journey is worth it for Earthbound. Just one play. Same thing I suspect with here. Not... Yeah. Of note. Or the fact of uh, Jimmy and whatever, Jimmy and the something that's Earthbound. The fact that I can say, this is an Earthbound game that's more adult. People like that. Okay. RFL Enhanced Edition. This is definitely homage to... I want to say Fantasy Star. This is definitely homage to Genesis-style RPGs. Recommended through that on my to-do list. RFL Enhanced Edition. The fact that it's enhanced, enhanced makes me think that this was originally an RPG maker, but yeah. Good enough to recommend, I believe, through exploration of um, recommendation of my current library. Let's see, what are we at? Strength of the Sword Ultimate. Okay, this is weird. <clears throat> this is from Iron Pineapple, who does Dark Souls games. That is his thing. In real Dark Souls, he even goes his... Not the meme. He actually goes to like the original PC games. That's like the true origin of Dark Souls that were done in like 1997 or 97. And where it's like you can swing up or down or like you can cut the enemies and pick their arm up and whack them. You know, little physics based, you know, very, very specific. He recommends this game. He says this is a really good game and it's the right price. It is 99 cents. And he loves the fact of this is the DLC. The DLC is literally $200 for a skin. It's literally just a skin. And it's 200 bucks. And he just loves the fact that that the uh, the dev does it. So basically this is Dark Souls, but it's more arena style, it seems. Like you just fight one-on-one -on -one rather than exploring uh, an area. But the combat, you know, for Dark Souls is, you know, really great. So more Monster Hunter, but cutting out the search of them a monster, you know, arena fights. So yeah, really recommend it. 99 cents. Can't. Yeah. He recommends it. So Strength of Sword Ultimate. Okay, cross code. 16-bit RPG recommended. That's about it. Maybe Fantasy Star. It has a demo. Yes. I'm only hesitating on the demos because I just don't know how much space I have on my uh, hard drive. Zip. Elliot Quest. Don't remember. 
Maybe pixel game recommendation, top 10, action adventure. Maybe this is recommended through... Ooh. Maybe Half Minute Hero? I don't know where I got this from, but Elia Quest. It seems to be a 2D kind of action adventure game. More like Zelda 2, less like Metroid, it seems, if there's an overworld map. Okay. Katana Zero. Hack and Slash. Uh, samurai Cyberpunk um, Ninja thing. I believe Paskey was playing this and, and really liked it, so this is recommended. You want Shinobi, you want Ninja Gaiden, this is the game. Modern style, modern... Modern graphics, modern mechanics, yeah. Katana Zero. Remnant from Ashes. This is probably from Upper Echelon. Okay. Souls-like RPG co-op. I believe I like the fact that this is... This reminds me of... Or it reminded me of Monster Hunter. But in an actual like RPG world so it's like okay you're going on quests you're going on missions it's not an open sandbox cooperative very modern uh, remnant from ashes not sure I could run it super lucky tail okay classic cute beginner platformer two and a half 3d two uh, two and a half d 3d and from what I understand, it's not a collectathon. I do not like collectathons. This is, I believe, I believe Mario Nintendo uses the term. This is a uh, goal get or goal oriented, or at least they, they said there's two types of Marios. There's the Explorer Mario, which is Mario 64, and then there's the get to the end of the stage type Mario, which is Super Mario 3D World. You know, clat, you know, clat, new Super Mario Bros. Get to the end. So yeah, this is uh, great. And this is the actual sequel, or this is the actual sequel to uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This is Conquer. Conquer in his original incarnation by Rare. Just, he's now a fox and instead of a squirrel and uh, no adult humor. This is the actual Conquer's t uh, 12 Tales for the Nintendo 64 before they just added all the sex and violence. I am disappointed that this is not the new version. The Nintendo Switch has like Super Lucky's Tales Definitive Edition. And from when my friend Rudix, he said it, like, it wasn't like fixing the bugs, it's more like added more content and, and mechanics and whatnot. So, eh. Uh, just great. Just, I don't know, I enjoy it. Ooh, it's never really been on sale for, at all. Hazelnut Bastille, I believe this is recommended from I believe I got this. This was recommended. This was one of the first game. No, it can't be one of the first games I had because it's not to be announced. But this reminds me of another one. But basically, this is like this is Zelda, and it's on the Switch library, so it's good. So more Zeldas. I have yet to play any Zelda after the Oracle games. I've yet to beat Twilight Princess, so I don't know why I'm adding this on. Took me forever to beat Anodyne. So yeah, Hazelnut Bastille, Zelda game. 2D Zelda. Love it. Fate Extelio. I have, I believe I added this recently. I just know this as a kind of hack and slash game. Stylistic, stylistic brawler. So I believe it would play like Bayonetta or Odin Sphere or Muramasa, but it's 3D. Um, what not. Japanese waifu anime stuff. So yeah. I've yet to investigate it. I believe it's on a recommendation from some other games that I have on my wish list. Like this is Onichim Chambara, you know, uh, stylistic, stylistic kill everybody type of stuff, you know. Maybe Nahona? There's a Nahona game like this. Anyways. Zack Zero. This potentially is a hidden gem. This is like totally me. Tiro DVD. C quality game. Because it's mixed. 
And I've never seen it, except I think when I first got it and was perusing through, I believe, recommendations. Through recommendations of more like this. And I know this was like at the last of the list, so this is like a weak recommendation. And I believe this is just a short and sweet 2.5D platformer. Side-scrolling. You know, get to the end of the stage, beat the boss, you have power-ups, collect coins. Just very simple, very basic Mario. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything interesting. But I think that's what I would like it. You know, they're like, let's see someone's take upon it, you know. More than 30 characters, including spectacular bosses. When they say more than 30 characters, they mean enemies. So, like... I don't know, this strikes me like this was done by maybe three guys, maybe two, or maybe even just one. And like, I believe this is probably like maybe the only thing they've ever made. Yep, it's the only thing they ever made. This, this is I think why I love it, or want to try it out. Just because it's unknown, you know. Okay, where are we at? Blazing Chrome. This seems to be just, it's Turkane, but modern. So yeah, recommended as, as Turricane, Contra, Run and Gun, Metal Slug, Pew Pew. Yeah, Contra. Yeah, someone loved Contra and made a game. Blazing Chrome. All right, Erotus, Lord of the Dead. This is basically Darkest Dungeons, but you are a lich, and you are building up your army in order to take over the world. I don't know if there's dungeon crawling, but it's... It's basically Darkest Dungeon, so, you know, turn-based combat, you have specifics on positionals, very, um, continuing is painful, losing, uh, characters is painful, yeah, it's, a uh, Dark Dungeon Club. And that is pretty, seems to be a good stopping point, so, uh, so until next time, I am Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.